What's up guys, Adam Bartnick here from AdamYourMNDriver.com and today we're gonna to talk about what it is actually like to be a rideshare driver. Figure out, maybe help you determine whether or not it's gonna be right for you or not. Let's dig into it. The first thing about being a rideshare driver is you will spend a ton of time in your car, okay? And at first, this drove me crazy and you might be like me, this, this might drive you crazy at first as well, but then I actually learned to love it. And so, um, there will be times when you have a lot of time in between rides and then it drove me crazy when I had nothing productive to do during these times, but I learned to love it when I started incorporating productive things to do in these times, okay? Such as having a book in the car, having a tablet in the car, um, listening to audiobooks, listening to podcasts when I'm driving people, um, when I'm driving to someone's location when I don't have a passenger in the car, and then switching to music when I do have a passenger in the car, okay? Um, so, yeah, this, this ton of time in your car started out driving me crazy, but I, I eventually ended up learning to love it. So, all right, the second thing to keep in mind is you will meet so many people as a rideshare driver. And, and for myself, I personally love this. I absolutely love meeting tons of people from all different walks of life that lived in my city and um, just having really, really cool conversations with people as my job like this I thought that was absolutely amazing and this gives you a great opportunity to improve your conversational skills okay like literally there were times when I went from having like one ride where I had like a borderline homeless person to the very next ride where I had like a venture capitalist in my car that's giving me business advice and ends up giving me his business card you know and stuff like that and I had just amazing conversations with each person Okay, and you just get so much insight about like, this might sound deep, but like about humanity and about just people in general. And I found that to be one of the most rewarding aspects of this job. Um, there are also gonna be times though that, you know, like I, I was working full time, so uh, there'd be times I drove like 30 people in a day and you know, maybe six hours into my shift, I'm just, I'm ready to, uh, to not be talking to anyone anymore for like an hour or two, right? So that that's just fine too, you know? You, you don't have to have, you don't have to aim for killer conversations with every single passenger. Um, what I would do in that situation, I would just turn the music up and, uh, and it kind of discourages conversation a little bit and can start, you know, jamming out on the steering wheel. And there were times I had passengers that, you know, we didn't say a word to each other, but we had a jam out session that we were able to bond over because we're all, we're both just tapping our feet, tap, I'm tapping the steering wheel, they're, you know, drumming on the window and stuff. It, it, it can be a ton of fun, you know, even if you don't want to have conversations with people all day, every day. Maybe you do that at your day job and you don't want to do that on your part-time gig, that's just fine, but you will be meeting a lot of people and you can uh, choose to do with that what you want, so. There you have it. The two biggest aspects of what it's actually like to be a rideshare driver is you will spend a ton of time in your car and B, you will spend a lot of time with passengers in your car having cool conversations, stuff like that if you choose to. So have something productive to do, be ready to have cool conversations, and uh, I think you're gonna like I think you're gonna love it. If you like that video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel to see the rest of my free content on my YouTube channel. But I also wanted to let you guys know that I also have a Lyft driver course, okay? A course that breaks down the top uh, strategies that I have learned as a Lyft driver uh, that's given over 5,000 rides on the Lyft platform. The top strategies that I now utilize to increase my income as much as possible on the Lyft app, okay? And then also ways of decreasing my expenses as much as possible to ultimately be the most profitable driver that you can be. Okay, so if you're interested in content like that, I hi highly recommend you check out my course and I have a link to that course in the description box of this YouTube video, okay? It is premium content, it is a paid course, but I also have a bunch of free videos on that course page as well so you get an idea of what you will be learning in the course, but I highly recommend you check that out if you're a Lyft driver that wants to make as much money as possible. All right, with that being said, happy driving guys. Have a good one.